Hey guys, this is Mike from the New Zealand Sea Lion Trust and we're here at Okaho, uh, Warrington Spit, another little cool location on the coast down here. Now Mike, with the Trust, a lot of your job is to get important messages such as how to behave around sea lions or pakake. Uh, definitely. Um, now it's all about respect really. Um, we are in the environment, um, whether we're on the beach or in the water, and um, Pākāke, they are very inquisitive. Um, when they're active and um, they want to engage, they will sometimes approach you. Um, so the best thing to do is to be as boring as possible. Okay, <laughs> Don't do anything which is going to excite them and then just back away slowly. Um, now if they're not active and they're just sleeping, then it's just a case of just leaving them alone. Observe from a distance at least 10 metres, which is about two car lengths. Um, and just let them do their thing. Um, so as I said, it's all about respect and giving them space and realising that they're not here to harm you and um, they don't expect you to harm them. So you talked about some of those, those behaviours and they're inquisitive. What, what sorts of things could you expect to encounter if they are active? Because the ones I've seen so far have just been lazing about on the beach. On the beach, um, some of the young males especially um, they just want to make friends. Um, they just want to check you out, investigate you. They will approach you. Um, they will come towards you, um, generally quite slowly, but um, with intent, so to speak. Um, and that is when you just back away slowly and look boring and just walk off. Uh, are they dangerous? Uh, they're dangerous to fish. <laughs> um, they could be... Um, if you're to interact with them in the wrong way but if you stay calm and I've got to say it again be boring then um, you won't have any problems. And it's also really important when we think about vehicles and that sort of thing like obeying signs about not driving on the beach or taking your motorbike on there and things like that eh? Well I mean a lot of places around New Zealand don't allow vehicles on the beach but where you can have vehicles on the beach the best thing to do is to be very alert. I mean if you are not driving, um, but maybe a member of your whānau is, maybe just, just uh, let them know that there could be um, pākāki on the beach and to uh, keep an eye out and if you do spot one, um, the guideline is to stay at least 50 metres away, which is quite a distance, that's about 10 car lengths. Right, hey well awesome information, be boring, I like that, if you come across pākāki and they get interested in you, thanks Mike. No problem.